Um, we have a, a list. Or audio slave. We we have a listener named Chris Chris Cull who is an absolute rock and roll animal and a massive fish fan, and he sent in questions for you, Gary. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you a couple of them. Cull, of course he did. I love <laughs> and it. I, and I such will an bullshit my way through all of them if I don't know the real answer. <laughs> he so wants hi, to, Chris, so hi, Chris. He's yeah, great. he's such a huge fan. He wants to know why is Billy Kreutzman not drumming in this iteration of the Grateful <laughs> Dead? If you have an answer to that, yeah, combination of health. And aforementioned bullshit. Hmm. Um, you know, again, we're, we're talking about another volatile band, but it is a, it is a combination of health. He 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 has his own health issues, and uh, you know, so they even on the last few Dead and Company tour, the last couple of them, Jay Lane was there to the last time they played Pine Knob. I know Jay Jay Lane played the main set, and Kreutzmann came out for the encores. Oh. I just think. I just think it's he's over. He's over okay. you know, being in the dead. Takes too much. It's too much wear and tear. Okay, uh, he he was a big fan of the Dead fifty year shows, and I'm sure he went to a bunch of them. But anyway, he wanted to know if you foresee Dead sixty year shows in 2025 <laughs> with Bobby, Mickey, Billy, and Phil, <laughs> or any combination a, thereof. I just got I just got the flash of a picture in my mind about <laughs> what that's about. And you know, you know the. Um, Touch a gray video. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, with, <laughs> the the, with the skeleton band. Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> I think I, certainly they're creating a different, a, a new model for the dead universe with, with sphere being the place they're going to play. Yeah. So I could, I could see an annual or biannual residency in, at sphere. Okay. Where they play there, whatever it is now. I think are we up to 16 shows now. Um, with 24 shows added. over okay, eight 24. weeks. 24, so it was 18. So, uh, so yeah, I could see them doing that once or twice a year. And if they're still around when it's dead, when it's the 60-year anniversary, it'll be Dead and Company celebrates Dead 60. Isn't uh, Sphere too polished for the Grateful Dead, though? Or is money Vegas? too polished for the Grateful <laughs> Dead? I mean, oh, you know, they, that, sure. ship, that ship sailed a long time ago. With oh, those okay. Guys. And by the way, it was never, was never as much of a ship a dock ship, as we're led to believe. Uh, um, and then finally, you want to know if Fish has done enough for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination. Oh, great question. I think they have. Yeah. I, I think, quite you know, agree. Now it's time for another, you know, I keep looking at the prog world. Okay, Pink Floyd gets in, then a little while later, it's it's uh, Genesis, and then, then we get Yes in, and then Rush, you know, as much as they, they straddle that line. Now we really should be talking about King Crimson. So the same with same with the jam band world. You get you know the dead's been in for a while now. It's it's time to look for another jam band to put in, and I, I think Fish is as deserving of being number two as anybody else. Amen. Uh, well, well, regarding okay, I, I don't know if they're really progressive rock, but Radiohead. I love Radiohead, and that's another one where a member of the band says we're going to have a new album in twenty twenty four or twenty. I think it actually said twenty twenty three, and everybody's waiting for this new album. 